in our previous video we have learnt how to add routing in existing angular application for that we have to make some changes in application then only the routing will work to solve this problem we can add the routing by default when we generate new application uh, let's see how can we do that here i want to create one more angular application let's open the command prompt here type this command and then application name let's say bookstore routing then press enter would you like to add angular routing type y then press enter i want to add the routing by default in this application then type of style sheet here by default css is selected if you want to change you can change by using up and down arrow keys like this then press enter it will take some time to install npm packages the application is created successfully here we have the new folder now let's open this application in vs code editor so right click then choose open with code it will open this application in vs code editor here expand this src folder inside this app folder we have two module files uh, this is app module and this is app routing module let's open this app routing module here we have ng module decorator and we have two arrays imports and exports and in the imports array uh, we have router module then for root and in the exports array we have router module then we have the same const routes and type routes here let's see what is the difference between app routing module and app module in app module in this imports array uh, we are using app routing module why we have created separate module for routing basically this approach is used to manage our codes if you are writing the entire code in one single place then it is not easy to manage if you create multiple small pods in your application then it is easy to manage we can use this same concept in our application now let's open this bookstore application here we will create a separate app routing module let's open the terminal window here type this command ng g and then m for module then app routing this is the module name i do not want to create parent folder for this module i want to create this new module at the root level for that we have to use dash dash flat option here then press enter see here we have one more module at the root level let's open this inside this um we do not want this declaration so let's remove it also remove this common module from here and this line also in app module remove this uh, router module from imports let's add this here then add the necessary imports this router module is available in at the rate angular and forward slash router okay now let's copy this for so remove it from here and add this code in app routing module let's add the imports let's add the necessary imports for about as component and uh, how it works component in app routing module let's create exports array 
here copy this router module and paste it here and save the changes in app module file let's remove this import three lines from here now we will use this uh, app routing module in app module file in the imports array add the necessary imports now we have the similar structure that is provided by the angular team while generating new application with the routing okay let's check whether it is working or not this application is running in the browser let's uh, reload this page okay now navigate to how it works this is working and navigate to about us page this page also working let's use the default url this main page also working fine we have two options if you want to create new angular application by default um, use the routing features if you have any existing application that does not have routing then you can create app routing module in that module we can define all the ports then we can import app routing module in main module then it will work if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this